Good morning once again. Today we're going to continue our discussion on uh, we're going to complete our discussion on the multiple linear regression. So just by way of review, uh, what we did last time was uh, number one to create a model zero. This this one model zero. We're we're regressing early wage uh, on uh, on nothing. So till day one rep represents a regression where. You're not using any of the exogenous variable. You're not using any of the independent variables. We're just using the average of our wage. Sir, and when, sorry? Sir, you're not sharing your screen. Ah, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. So, kanina pala hindi ako nakashare. Share screen. Habang nag-IXL, nag-aaroon tayo. Okay, my bad. All right. So, uh, this one. Huh? So this is the uh, model that we ran before, model zero. We're regressing uh, early wage on just itself. We're not using the the variables that come with the wage data set. So when we run this last time, we have this <clears throat> we have this output. Okay, you can see here the output gives us. The coefficients is just the intercept, which is the mean of early wage. Okay, wala tayong predictor dito na ginamit. Just the average of your early wage. So which means that regardless of the value of your independent variables, the prediction or the forecast or the, or the, uh, the predicted early wage will still be 5.896. And we said that that's tantamount to uh, that stand amount to getting information you for education, race, etc., and not using it. No? So uh, this is, of course, a futile, futile exercise. Unless we're sure, or we know that the other variables that we that we uh, uh, got uh, from surveys or from interviews are useless. But in the first place, why will you do that, diba? Bakit ka mag interview para kunin yung, yung gender, yung race, yung civil status, etc. Okay. So, when we do ANOVA, there's a function called ANOVA of model zero. It will give us the analysis of variance. And here, uh, if you notice, model zero, it will be an analysis of variance comparing your, your model, which is model zero, with the base model. The base model is is uh, is just choosing the mean itself. No? Kaya dito makikita nyo na walang ano walang walang comparison. No? If you take a look at the ANOVA here, let me. <clears throat> it's actually comparing ANOVA with ANOVA. Uh, it's ANOVA. It's comparing model zero with model zero. Kaya wala tayong f-stat dito. No? Kasi you're comparing the model with itself. Eh. Okay? So take a look at this one. Uh, so may ANOVA 0 natin. Okay, ito, no? Ito yung output ng analysis of variance. Okay? Walang degree of freedom 1, walang degree of freedom 2. It's just degree of freedom 1. Okay, kasi ANOVA of model zero, the default is you compare the, the whatever model with the base model, which is not using any independent variable. Now, if we compare that with this one, okay, ito, no? Nag-create tayo ng model one, di ba? Ang model one natin, si education yung ano natin, yung, yung uh, predictor natin. Okay? And then, uh, when we generated model one, okay, we have here the values of your Allah nako. Wait. Uh. Sorry, sorry class. Nag ano na naghalo-halo na 'yon, ano. Yung finlit sa tsaka yung fin ano na to, <laughs> Apple returns sa to. Okay, sorry. Okay. Model 1, I'll run this first. Okay? Uh, my mistake is I placed it in one folder. No? So I now have here model 1 which belongs to another subject. Okay na to, no? Model 1 is regressing early wage on education. And then, we summarize Model 1 here. You have your parameter. In this case, parameter lang education. And it's statistically significant. 
this is the individual t tests no so this this test b1 is equal to zero the journal hypothesis and we reject that we say that uh, the uh, value of b1 is statistically not equal to zero and we show that the yung conf int natin mod 1 confidence interval that's from your stats package if we run this okay so dito makikita natin class na yung uh, yung upper confidence level na value okay take a look at education so we are 95% confident that the real value of the education lies between 0.44 and 0.65 and it does not it does not touch zero there's no there's no way that the uh, that the real value of the education will be equal to zero for intercept yes diba kasi yung uh, yung value natin from negative 2.2 to 4.44 so ibig sabihin yung zero is between these values kaya nga hindi significant si ano si intercept ba ito for education no way no? it will be significant and then yung anova ito yon no ito yung anova uh, we said that yung anova natin merong ano may degree of freedom 1 may degree of freedom 2 now, yung 1 dito at saka yung 2 dito, it now compares yung model, yung base model natin. Ano ba yung base model natin? The base model is we're not using any regressor. So kung wala tayong regressor, ang degree of freedom natin nun is n minus k minus 1. Yung k natin, 0. Okay? But yung, sorry, yung k natin dito, uh, okay, n minus k minus 1, degree of freedom 2 to, di ba? Yung k natin dito will be the number of predictors. Ito yung n minus k minus 1. That's n minus 526 minus 1, which is your predictor, minus 1 for the intercept. So that's 524. Now, when we... Pag nag-ano tayo class ng ano, pag nag-create nag tayo ng ANOVA for model 1, okay, it's just the same as creating an ANOVA Comparing model 1 with your base model. Your base model is mo mod 0. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to tell you. Okay, so if I run this, ANOVA 0. Okay, take a look at this. Huh? What are we comparing here? What are we comparing here? Okay. Yung ANOVA natin, ANOVA na mod 1, even if class na sinulat lang natin na mod 1, ang actual na ano niyan, ang actual na comparison is mod 1 and mod 0. What's a mod 0? Mod 0 is the model where you're not using any predictor. Okay? So, si mod 1 natin, isa lang yung predictor, di ba? It's education. So, may null hypothesis tayo dito na yung ginamit natin na predictor dito, education, yun ang ina-hypothesize natin. So, what we're hypothesizing is P1, the uh, predictor that we added for model 1, is equal to 0. Ang sinasabi natin, model 0, wala tayong ginamit na predictor. Model 1, ginamit natin si education. So, ang tanong, does this make sense? Relevant ba na nagdagdag pa tayo ng B1 sa predictor? Or, pwede na sana model 0 na lang. And here, you can see that the uh, p-value is uh, less than 0 0.005. So, we reject this null hypothesis. Okay? We reject the null hypothesis that your p1 is equal to uh, is equal to 0. Now, ang, sa, ang claim ko kanina, yung mod 1 na yan, ANOVA na mod 1, uh, is the same as getting the comparison. No? Let me show you. If instead what I did was ANOVA, ANOVA ng mod 1 and mod 0. Okay. So ANOVA mod 1 is just the same as ANOVA mod 1 and mod 0. Huh? Dalawa. Kinocompare natin. Kasi ANOVA mod 1, if we don't identify mod 0, yun ang default. Iko-compare niya dun sa base model. Ano yung base model? Yung walang predictor. Ang predictor natin yung average lang ng dependent variable. Okay. Kung tingnan nyo ito, class, pareho lang yung answer, no? It's the same. Okay, here. 
andito yung residu uh, andito yung ano yung uh, residual uh, degree of freedom no okay and dito yung uh, 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 some of the squares of the of the residual and dito din p value okay which is just the same as uh, as this one pareho din result nito ayan okay ito nga lang okay bakit ito one lang dito 100 525 dito sa sa ANOVA natin dito. Kasi dito ang ang inun natin dito class yung sa ANOVA 1 and ANOVA 0 uh, mod 1 and mod 0. Ang kino-compare natin yung mod 0. Okay, ang degree of freedom ni mod 0 is 525, di ba? Because that's uh, n minus k minus 1. Ang k natin for mod 0 is 0. So that's 525. Si ano naman, mod 1, n minus k minus 1, ang k natin doon is 1 kasi may isang predictor natin sa education. So 524. Okay? If you get the difference of this, 525 minus 524, that's 1. Ito actually yun, no? Ito yun, yung 1. Yung difference sila, yung education. Okay? Now, this is very important kasi when you now, go, uh, when you now do another model, okay, and we learned last time, di ba, uh, dito, sa result na to, it tells us that anong, anong null hypothesis natin dito? Our null hypothesis here is that the our null hypothesis is that the model, restricted model, no? yung restricted model is better. Ano yung restricted model? Yung model na mas less yung predictors, which is model zero. So we're saying here that model zero is better. And the conclusion is that we reject this null hypothesis, that the restricted model is better. And it's equivalent to saying that B1 is equal to zero. Bakit? Ano ba difference ng restricted at saka unrestricted? The presence of B1. Sa unrestricted, may B1 tayo. Ginamit natin yung education. Sa restricted, wala. No? Wala tayong ginamit na predictor. So, ang lumalabas dito, we are rejecting this null hypothesis that restricted model is better or that B1 is equal to zero. Okay? Uh, I hope that's clear, class. I, I think I have discussed it several times. I just wanted wanted to uh, drive home this point na sana clear yung ano natin, yung itong uh, analysis of variance. No? Uh, clear pa so far, class? Okay. Let me. Uh, Sana ano? Pagaling ko niya drawings. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now we said that the model does not stop there because may mga may mga insignificant predictors sa yon. So we don't just remove all of them. What do we do? We we do what we call a stepwise regression. So paano si, paano si stepwise regression? Si stepwise regression, ang ginagawa dyan, tinatanggal yung, yung mga variables one at a time and it should be based on anong basis natin? Uh, sorry. Hindi pa pala tayo nag ano, ano. Uh, sabi natin, instead of just using one, let's just use all the variables. Kaya nag, nag model to tayo ito. Model to, we're using all the variables. And then we discussed this last time. I hope clear sa inyo to ha, yung pag-discuss ng, ng uh, factors ito, ng race, yung gender, at saka kung paano ginagamit niya are yung dummy variable. Yung dummy variable dito. How it is, how R introduces this. And uh, if we're going to compare yung model 2 natin at saka model 1 natin, okay, pwede tayo mag-ANOVA. Model 1 natin has one predictor sa education. Si model 2, si lahat. Lahat siya. Okay, sandali lang. I'll just get my digital pen. Nalaglag mo lang.
Okay. So, model 2 natin class is, uh, I hope yung context, no? The model 2 is we regressed. We regressed. Ito, di ba? Early wage on all, all the predictors. Tapos it, ito yung lumabas. Now, as to the question, which is better? Model 1, yung simple regression lang, simple linear regression, or model 2? What we can do is, we do this ANOVA, no? model 1 and model 2. And by comparison, tingnan nyo, no? si model 1, educate, educate, education line predictor. Si model 2, lahat. Okay? And ang null hypothesis natin dito is, ano null hypothesis natin is, uh, two ways to write it. Number one is HO. HO natin, C, si model one. Model one, which is the restricted model, is better, right? Or, we can write, null hypothesis natin is, ito pareho lang, di ba? So, walang, walang difference yung dalawa dyan. B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7. So, ang null hypothesis natin is B2 is equal to B3 is equal to dot, 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 is equal to B7 is equal to 0. Okay? Yung difference nila, class. Kasi dinagdagan natin ng B2 hanggang B7. So we're hypothesizing that model 2, which which includes all of these uh, variables from B2 up to B7, they're equal to zero. Ibig sabihin, wala silang significant na, na, na contribution in explaining early wage. And, but we saw that based on this, the p-value is less than 0.05. Significant at 0 0.001. And you can see here, okay, ito yung degree of freedom ni model 2 natin. This is N minus K minus 1. N is 526. K is 7, di ba? 7 yung predictors natin. And minus 1, that's 518. Yung una naman, N minus K minus 1, your K is 1. Kasi education lang. So that's 524. Okay? So, yung formula actually natin dito, yung sinabi natin dati, di ba? Some of the squares of your error terms ng, ng restricted model minus some of the squares of your error term, unrestricted. Okay, ito yun, no? Andiyan na yan, eh, di ba? Divided by degree of freedom ng restricted minus degree of freedom ng unrestricted, which is this one. 524 minus 18. Right? So that's divided by 6. Okay? And then divided by yung ito. SSE, some of the squares ng unrestricted, which is this one, divided by the degree of freedom of the unrestricted. Ito. Okay? If you compute that, you'll get this. Itong F stat natin. F F stat na 28.202. Okay? And then, you can now compute for the p-value of that. You, you, you can use uh, uh, several ways, no? Several ways to compute for that. You can use PF or you can get it here from the ANOVA. Pwede natin kunin from the ANOVA. Okay, so this tells us, class, that we reject the null hypothesis that the restricted model is better than the unrestricted Okay, then re 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 rejected natin yon. So there's a strong statistical reason to believe that at least one of this. Okay. One of those uh, variables, yung B2 natin hanggang B7 is non-zero. Okay, then from here, sabi natin paano tayo mag -proposed? Uh, we go to the next model using stepwise regression. Magtatanggal tayo dito based on the smallest t value. And the smallest t value here, so first set natin is 0.257. So, magiging LEAVI living variable yan. Okay? 
Tatanggalin natin yan, magre-regression ulit tayo model 3, and then mayroon tayong panibagong regression output, and then i-compare naman natin si model 3 at saka model 2. Okay? And it, you will find out that model 3, which is the restricted model in this case, okay, kasi nag-stepwise na tayo, no? So si model number 3, mas konti na siya. And it turns out that itong si race, ito yung tinanggal natin, no? Okay. Si race, 0.257. Yan ang magiging ano natin, class, eh. Yan ang magiging null hypothesis natin dun sa ANOVA natin compare model 3 and model number 2. Kasi si model number 3, di ba, kasama lahat to. Si model, num so, si model number 2, kasama lahat to. Si model number 3, tatanggalin natin yung race. Di ba? Pag tinanggal natin yan, tapos mag, mag ano tayo, mag, uh, mag uh, ANOVA, ito, si ANOVA ng model number 2 at saka model number 3, Okay, it turns out that, okay, again, ano null hypothesis natin dito? Si restricted, no? Now, si restricted natin class is model number 3, ah. Me medyo nabaliktad to ng yung kanina. Kanina kasi na una na we started with a simple linear regression tapos dinagdagan natin. Ito naman, nagsistepwise tayo. Baliktad na, no? Na binawasan na natin yung predictors natin. So, yung bagong model natin, which is model number 3, has lesser predictor now. So, yung model number 3 natin is the restricted model. And the p-value is 0. 0.79. Ito. Ayan, no? 0. 0.79. So, anong ano natin? Ang null hypothesis natin, restricted model is better. Or, p, yung si race, is equal to 0. That's the null hypothesis, di ba? And the answer is we fail to reject that. We fail to reject that the null hypothesis uh, is equal to, the race is equal to zero. Uh, we fail to reject that. Yeah, there's strong statistical reason to believe that the race is, is indeed equal to zero. In fact, okay, pakita ko lang dito. Ah. If we go to the confidence interval na model number three, uh, model three, Okay, there. Tinan nyo class si ano? Ah, dali. Si, wait, model number 2 pala. Confidence interval, si model 2. Okay. Nako. Hindi ko na si model number 2. Iba na si model number 2 dito. Okay, sorry about that. Let me just run model number 2. Where's model number two? Uh, I'm sorry, class. Ha? Medyo nag naghalo na yung ano? Yung yung model ko dun sa Finlit sa chaka dito sa Fin Finstar. Uh, ang mali ko. I was using just one folder, which I don't I don't usually do. No? Kaso kasi nag naga classroom dun sa ano? Dun sa R R Studio Cloud kaya na pipilita na ako minsan na magen. Asa na yung model to ko ito? Okay, let me run this model number two. Okay, and then let me get the confidence interval. Arrow up, up, yan. Okay, once more. Tapos mag round ako, round. Two decimal places na lang. Para, okay, there. Okay, take a look at this class. No? Si race white, no? Okay. Yan. So, what's our conclusion here? Kasi it's, uh, it's between 0. 0.73 and 0. 0.95. So, it touches zero, eh, di ba? Ibig sabihin, may possibility na yung race value natin is zero. So, that's why it's not statistically significant. So, dito, any values that that uh, includes zero are not statistically significant. Itong civil status. Ayun. Itong number of dependents. Okay, the rest which will not which do not include zero are not are statistically significant. Okay, and then hanggang di ba hanggang final step yun, no? Hanggang final step and yung final step na yun, you reach a point where all your predictors are now zero. Ah, uh, all your predictors are now Patina nyo to, no? 
this one. This is model number five. Education, tenure, gender, civil status. Apat na lang predictors. Si model number four natin, let me run model number four. Ito, no? Ito si model number four. Okay. Si model number four, when we run it, uh, where's model number four? This one, okay? So meron pa siyang hindi significant, no? Itong civil status at saka si number of dependents. So si number of dependents ang mas least na t-stat. So yun ang, yun ang tinanggal natin, no? Ang model number three pala to. Model number three. Ito model number four. Let me run model number four. Okay, that's model number four. And then model number five. Okay, so, 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 so model number five class. Nag, nag ano tayo, di ba? Nag, uh, nag stepwise regression dito. Nag, nag backward tayo. So may tinanggal tayong variable dyan. Okay? Ang tinanggal natin dyan is number of, you can see here, no? if you compare, uh, education, pareho sila. Tenure, pareho. Gender, pareho. Civil status. Tinanggal natin experience. So we removed experience in model number five. And so this one, uh, model number, yeah. This one, you must conte, this is your model number five. Restricted to. And then the p-value is 0.11 or 0.12. So we fail to, we fail to reject the null hypothesis that your Restricted model is better. So, mas maganda yung model natin na tinanggal natin experience. Okay? And in fact, when we run model number 5, summary ko si model number 5, okay, you'll now see that all the predictors are significant. Yeah. Sure. Okay? Yes. Questions? So, basis mo in removing a... And um independent variables here is yung p-values. Yes, p-value or yung t-stat. Mas madali kasi tingnan yung t-stat, no? Uh, you, you choose the uh, smallest absolute value ng t-stat. Uh, kunyari itong model number 4. No? So this is model number number 3. Okay, kahit model number 3, no? Si model number 3 class... May, dalawa, may tatlo tayong insignificant. We have experience, we have civil status, and we have number of dependents. So what, how do you choose the living variable? The living variable will be the variable with the lowest P value, absolute value. So disregard mo yung mga negative sign dito. Ang pinakamaliit is 1.33. And of course, it will be coming from the insignificant one. So, hindi pa pwede yung ang mapipili mo yung significant kasi it will have high values, high T values, definitely. Uh, is there a chance for the for a significant variable to become a living, L-E-A-V-I-N-G? No. Kasi definitely, that significant variable will have a high, relatively higher T value compared to your insignificant uh, no, variables. So dito, number of dependents, 1.33. Okay, as, as I mentioned a while ago, uh, ang mga insignificant natin, itong experience, 1.78, civil status, 1.58, si number of dependents, 1.33. Ang pipiliin natin si number of dependents, okay, kasi ang kukunin natin yung absolute value ng P. Okay? So, 1.33. Did that answer your question? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you for that question. No? Okay, and here, sa last step, wala na, no? Lahat significant na. Okay? All right. So, let's open the, ano? Uh, bilis ng oras. Let's open. Masimulan ko lang itong, ano, stepwise. Kasi, class, may ano naman to may video na. Pakibuksan nga itong stepwise. Okay? At least, ma-explain ko sa inyo kung ano to, no? Okay. So, stepwise regression is a method used in regression, especially when you have several predictors, several independent variables. And usually, pag nag, if you include all the variables, 
usually yan, hindi lahat magiging maging significant unless talagang ano talagang yung model mo yung variables mo na napili were really uh, predictors of your uh, of your dependent variable uh, in many cases uh, magkakaroon ng mga insignificant dun sa ano ang question do you now stop and just remove all the insignificant variables hindi pa pwede no? In fact, sa nangyari sa kanina model natin, di ba? Uh, I, I just failed to point out to you, class, na dito, si civil status kanina hindi significant siya, eh, di ba? In model number three, or model number four, civil status was not significant. Ito, di ba? 0.114. Okay, and neither was experience. Okay, so what happened was when we removed experience, civil status became significant. <laughs> Yan. That's why we don't we don't remove all at one time. Kasi baka may mga variables na, ang may effect ng ibang variables na pag tinanggal mo yung isa, uh, nagiging significant siya. Huh? So that's the reason why we don't uh, we don't remove all at once. So we do what we call stepwise regression. Okay, so Ang stepwise regression class, ang ano niya, ang pinaka goal niyan is to series of uh, iterations no? to find a set of independent variables that significantly influence the dependent variable. Iter iterative to. So one at a time. Nagtatanggal tayo ng mga uh, insignificant variables. So there are three ways of doing this. Meron tayong forward, forward selection, meron backward uh, elimination at saka merong bidirectional. Yung forward, what happens is that zero-based ka muna, no? wala ka muna model uh, at, at the start. Tapos, you choose among the variables pa isa-isa mong linalagay. No? One at a time, naglalagay ka. So, you introduce a variable. Okay? Tapos, ang ano niya, dapat, dapat yung, ano, yung variable na ipapasa mo, dapat <coughs> significant, no? Okay, tapos yung isa naman, backward elimination. Anong ginagawa nito? Just like what we did a while ago, uh, what we do here is we introduce all all of the variables and then remove one at a time. Ito yung ginawa natin, yung backward elimination. Tapos meron din combination. Meron uh, bidirectional. Ito yung pinakamahirap, no? yung bidirectional. Kasi pag nag-introduce ka, pwede kang magtanggal din, no? And uh, pag ganun, pag ganun, ano, yung pwedeng, uh, pwedeng, pag may pinasok ka na, pwede, may tangg pwede mong tanggalin ulit yun. Unlike pag forward, pag pinasok mo na isang variable, hindi na pwede tanggalin yun. Sa backward naman, pag tinanggal mo na isang variable, hindi mo na siya pwedeng ibalik. No? Uh, that's what makes di bi bidirectional elim elimination uh, more complex. Of course, may mga, ano, may mga hindi naniniwala sa, ano, sa, sa stepwise regression kasi it has been shown that sometimes you do not come up with the with the final correct model hindi tama yung model na lumalabas so these are limitations of the uh, stepwise regression but for our purposes uh, it's important for us to know how this is done okay so we're going to make use of the uh, some someone asked me last time uh, paano kung kunyari 20 variables yung ano natin Tapos mahirap kasi yung ano ha, mahirap yung forward selection. Ang ang hirap piliin kung ano yung isusunod na ipapasok. Mas madali yung backward backward elimination kasi may guide ka na eh. Ano ba yung t-value na pinakamaliit? Eh di tanggalin mo siya isa-isa. Now, if you have a quite a big model, you have let's say 20 predictors, mahirap yun, di ba? Kasi matagal. Buti na lang may package sa R, tawag niyan OLSRR. Okay, so paki ano natin to, paki-load natin. If you haven't installed this, paki install. Uh, otherwise, paki library nyo, ano? Okay. All right. Babalikan natin yung model natin. Okay. I'll just call it model. Okay. Model, and then uh, we're modeling all our predictors. Okay. So let's have this model now. Let's run this. All right. So first. Okay. 
Okay, gagamitin natin si OLSRR. Okay, so ito, ang ang method na to na gagawin ngayon is this is forward. Forward selection. Okay, using p-values. Kasi may forward selection using akaiki, tapos meron ding forward selection using p-values. So what happens here? Ito lagay ko dito ha. Kasi baka malito kayo eh no? Control X, dito ko ilalagay. Control V. Alright, paki-move nyo na lang, no? So we have our model first here. And then let's use forward selection now. So ano yung code dun? Okay, I'm you I'm creating this object called forward fit.p. No? Pangalan na naman ng object yan. And then the function is this one. OLS step, stepwise regression forward, no? And then underscore p. This means the p method. Ano yung p method? Uh, papa, magpapasok si R ng mga variables one at a time. Dapat, yung p-value niya, pag pinasok siya, should be 0 0.05, no? Okay, which is uh, what, uh, ito yung standard natin. Dapat 0 0.05 yung lalabas dun sa p-value niya. So if I run this, may kasama ng parenthesis, so ipiprint na ito, no? Alright. So ipiprint na niya yung answer. And let's take a look at the answer. So we're now doing here stepwise regression. And yung unang method na tinitingnan natin is forward, no? Okay, wait. Hindi ko pa yata na-run si model. Run ko muna to. Ayan na, okay. There we go. Okay, so what do we have here? Ayan, plus, tingnan nyo. Nag-forward selection si R. Okay, and pinakita sa atin yung mga steps. What's step one? Pinasok muna si education. Okay? Si education muna pinasok niya. Variable entered. And then R squared. Ito yung naging unang R squared natin, di ba? And then may adjusted R squared din tayo. Okay, itong malaw CP. No? Ano itong malaw CP? Okay, we're going to discuss this na lang next time. <clears throat> but this is a me measure of pag, uh, the lower the malaws, the better. And notice, tinan nyo, ha, habang nagdadagdag ng panibagong variable, bumababa yung malos CP. Just like AIC. AIC is uh, what we call the Akaiki yan ito. Akaiki Information Criterion. And it's a measure of information loss. So, the lower the AIC, the better the model is. If you take a look at the first model na education ng laman, 2777 yung AIC. Pagdating dito sa apat, yung civil status ang pinasok, tinan nyo bumaba yung AIC, ano? Bumaba din yung malaw CP. Bumaba din yung root mean square error. Yan. Okay? Alright, so ito yung sinasabi niya forward selection, ito yung pinaka, ano, solution. So hindi na tayo nag, ano, hindi na tayo nag uh, manual, na? Ito na yung, yung final solution. So you can now model, create ka na ng model na education, ten new gender, civil status. Okay? Now, Another way is, <coughs> ito naman plus details is equal to true. Ang difference nito, papakita niya one by one <coughs> in process. Ito kasi sinamarize na niya eh. Sa taas, sinamarize na niya. Summary na to, no? If you run this, yung pangalawa, okay, dali ha. If you run this, the second one, ibibigyan niya lahat ng details. And this this will uh, take quite long. Pero sige. Okay, let's just summarize this quickly. So, mas mahaba itong output na to, no? Now, sa paper nyo, class, uh, hindi, ko ka hindi natin kailangan yan, ha? Kung gusto nyo ipasok yan, kailangan i-include is equal to false nyo. Pag, ano i-include is equal to false? Sa output, hindi niya, hindi niya ipapakita yan, no? Okay? Yung function na include is equal to false dito sa, ano, sa sa code chunk. Okay? Just like this. Okay? Lolo ko na naman tong mouse ko. Okay. So, ito na yung output. Uh, medyo mahab. <clears throat> okay. Hindi lang. Okay. Ah. My mouse is again not cooperating. Yan, sinasabi dyan, these are the seven predictors, di ba? 
So unang-una, plus one, plus education muna. Then it will give us some summary statistics. And then next, ano susunod? Nag-ano ba siya kung education lang? Tapos next, may parameter estimate siya. Okay? Tapos next, pinasok niya si tenure. Okay, so one by one, no? So that's your forward selection. And then may comparison yan. Okay? Ito, dalawa na yung predictors natin. Okay, next. Tatlo na. Okay? Bawat step, nag-analysis sa variance siya. And then step four, pinasok si civil status. All right? No more variables to be added. Variables entered are this one. Okay, so that's your stepwise regression. Kasi ito na yung final model natin. Okay, it gives us the final model. Alright? Okay, so I will not, it's almost time plus, I will not run this anymore. Yung method 1.2, it's using AIC. Okay, so nasa video to class and uh, you have the file. Uh, pakisundan na lang. Anyway, it's very instructive. It's, uh, it's easy to follow along naman, no? So dalawang method yung forward. Una, yung p-value. Pangalawa, yung AIC. Akaiki information criterion. For as long as bumababa yung AIC, okay yun. No? Okay, itong method 1.3, this is now yung ginawa natin kanina, yung backward selection. Okay? So ganun din to, p, p enter, hindi enter, p remaining. Ibig sabihin, uh, magre-remain lang yung, yung ano natin, yung model kung ang p-value niya is 0.05. Alright? So ito daw yung tinanggal, elimination summary. Which is what we did a while ago. Diba tinanggal natin si race, tapos tinanggal natin si number of dependents, tapos tinanggal natin si experience. So itong automatic na output uh, is what we did manually. Okay? So meron ding details is equal to true. So pakiran yan, tapos tinan nyo kung paano niya tinanggal isa-isa. Tapos meron din backward selection using AIC. Okay? Now sometimes magkakaiba yung ano yung 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 result ng using p-value at saka yung AIC. You can see here if you run this, may pagkakaiba, no? Yung yung ano yung yung result ng AIC at saka yung result ng p-value. For our purposes, ang gagamitin natin si p-value. Kasi minsan si AIC uh, mag magbibigay ng answer yan kahit na hindi significant yung, ano, yung variable. And uh, ang normal na ginagamit natin yung dapat significant yung variable natin. So if you run this plot using AIC okay. Anyway, so 1-5, ito yung stepwise selection, ito yung forward or backward ng combination siya. Okay? And then ito naman, class, all possible subsets of regression. If you run this, pakita ko lang ito ah. It's a huge table. No? Tapos ano laman niya? Makikita nyo na all possible combinations ng regression. Tinan niya to. Ito. Education lang. Tenure lang. Gender lang. Okay? Tapos may index number siya. Tapos ito. Education and tenure. Okay? So lahat ng possible combinations, linagay niya. Ayan o, no? 127 rows all in all. Okay, kung titignan natin itong plans. Okay, index number 127. Ito yung huli. No? Education, experience, tenure, race, gender, civil status, number of dependents. Okay, R squared will always be higher. Basta mas maraming ano, predictors, mas mataas yung higher. So, ito, ito class yung subset, ito yung lahat ng mga possible combinations ng regression. Okay? So, I'll leave you, konti na lang naman to, no? konti na lang naman yung natira dito to, uh, uh, to go through the other, uh, other results here. Okay? Mod compare lang yung kanina. Okay? Pareho lang yan. Wala. Tapos plot compare natin to Tapos there's a function called OLS 
Oke, ini ya toh. Alright. So this tells us class na menyare. If we're going to base it on r squared, okay? Ano ibig sabi nito? If we're going to base it on nyare adjusted r squared, to, then if there's only one predictor that we're going to use, choose index number one. Yung index number one yun nasa taas yung list, no? If you you're going to use two predictors, then choose choose index number ano to number eight. So ito yung mga indices, no? And if you're going to choose five or five predictors, choose ninety-nine. I mean ninety-nine. Ninety-nine is asan na si ninety-nine? Ito si 99 class. Education, experience, tenure, gender, civil status. Yan. Okay? If you're going to choose a four lang, kung four lang class yung pipiliin natin, using adjusted R squared, ito yun. Choose number 64. Alright? And lastly, ito yung step subset best. No? Best model. So, ibibigay lang sa atin yung mga best, no? Okay. Yung mga best lang yan. Kung isa lang yung predictor, education. Kung dalawa, education and tenure. Kung apat, education, tenure, gender. Ito yung ano natin, di ba? Ito yung model natin for predictors. Okay? So, that's telling us if you only choose, if you choose one or two or three, etc., And then ito, andito yung mga metrics kung depende dun sa ilang ilang variables ang pipiliin nyo. And then lastly, yung plot compare. Okay, this gives us a good plot. Okay. All right. So ito, ano sinasabi nito? All right. Kung in terms of ano, In terms of CP, okay, kasi di ba the lowest the CP the better. So it looks like four. Ito yung pinaka maganda. No? In terms of adjusted R squared, okay, magigita nyo nat natin dito kung ano yung pinaka best model. Okay, in terms of adjusted R squared, of course, pag R squared tas an alam natin na lahat isa sa mga mo, no? Kaya ng hindi natin ginagamit si adjusted R squared, ah, si R squared. Better still si adjusted R squared. All right. So let me end in that class. So that ends our discussion for today. I hope you. Tama ba yun ako? Oh, exactly naman pala. Makalaw sa mga bra ko. All right. Twelve thirty one. Exacto. Okay. Any questions, class? Answer. Okay. Alright, so so na tapos na natin tong ano ano tong I I have a may klase ako bukas pero hindi ko alam kung kasi may meeting kami ng ten thirty required kami so may natitira pang konting ano konting discussion sa multiple regression it's just yung ano yung structural equation it's it's how you interpret kung yare Paano kung log yung ano natin? What if you use log education? Paano mo i-interpret yung ano? How are you going to interpret? How are you going to interpret the value if it's log education? Kunyari, ang equation natin, yung, yung dependent variable natin, ginawa natin yung log. How do you now interpret that? Kasi ito, so far, uh, di ba, pag interpret natin kay education, kunyari, 0.55 siya. For every one year increase in education, there's a corresponding 0.54, 0.55 dollars increase in hourly wage. Kateris paribus. What if education was in log, nakalog siya? Or what if si hourly wage is in log? Iba na interpretation yan. Okay, so I'm going to post a material. It just helps us to interpret, no? Yung yung mga variables. Uh, if uh, if ganun yung format niya. Okay? Alright. Sige. So, thank you so much, class. I'll... Uh...
Uh, of course, I'll see you on uh, Thursday. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Yes. Good